Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, was looking at PV Poke today, and they put on Twitter. PV Poke is where people can see. Actually, go ahead and pause this video and check out pvpoke.com. It's pvpoke.com. And uh, that's where people learn about move counting, what the best mod in the leagues are, all this stuff. But anyways, uh, they put out a tweet today and they were showing the most used teams in their battle simulator. So a battle simulator is basically just practicing the, uh, I don't know why it looks like I'm blurry. Practicing your PvP teams in a basically simulated environment. But the second best team they were using was the Toxic team of Bastiodon with Wigglytuff and Shadow uh, Dragonair in the back. Basically, it's figure out which one of these spawn you want to give two shields to and win that matchup and then hopefully the game. And um, I decided, you know what? It's going to be Toxic Tuesday. I won't say that I'll always play a Toxic team on Tuesday, but um, for me, it's technically Monday. But... Yeah, we're going to do that team today. It was the second best team on their, the second most used and winningest team, I guess. I, I think it is actually just winning winningest team on their simulator. The first team I will not tell you yet because that might be tomorrow's video. And uh, if you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you think you're subscribed, go ahead and check anyways. A lot of people say that they don't think that, or they think that they're already subscribed and they check and they're not subscribed. So yeah, then you can at least know and make a decision on whether or not to actually subscribe again or for the first time. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the team. Um, I will say these battles are tough. As you can see from this lead here, I, the Bastion seems like it's very hated in this meta. We do get a ton of wins here, but um, it's like you have to... Just, eh. In the Master League Toxic team, I felt like I could just do whatever I wanted to do and i was just like boom hard counter this and then just win the game easily these games took a lot of effort to win and you'll see like i'm barely winning games here but um we did win a, a huge percentage of the games in a general sense but man it's it's not like no skill uh blah 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 type thing uh you have to get your timings perfect everything has to be great anyways yeah glygar lead very bad for bastion annihilate in the back uh does that mean it's Skarmory in the third Mon? This could be the team that we just showcased in the last, literally the last video. Or was Hypno Double Dark the last video? Maybe it was two videos ago. Anyways, I try to go for Switch. I'm not able to get it. I come in with Wigglytuff. I'm going to be able to get this farm down. Um, it's either Shadow Ball, which is double resisted, or Night Slash, which is single resisted and a bad move. So Shadow Ball actually probably ends up doing more damage than the Night Slash would do anyways. Um, even a double Night Slash might be close. Hopefully it's not that Skarmory team, because then this is going to get awkward. It end they end up bringing back in their Gligar, which is kind of weird anyways. I shield this because I feel like Bastion doesn't really need a shield, so I feel like I need to stay in with the Wigglytuff. Luckily, I was three charms away from this move, so I can throw three charms, which is 15, uh, I'm sorry, which is nine turns, and it took them 10 turns to get to their move, so they weren't able to throw that move into a uh, Wigglytuff, and now I'm just gonna eat the move here on for Alligator, and if I ever get to this Stone Edge, I'll basically, oh wow, this has a lot more HP than I remembered, um, if I do hit it with the Stone Edge, it's going to get it super low, and they're not going to really gain enough energy because they're going to be threatened by the Smackdowns here. Let me just make sure all the nameplates are correct. Hey, we got one right. All right. Um, I think we actually live a dig here anyways because it's not the Shadow Form, and we don't live. But, yeah, we charm it down. Venusaur lead. So I know in the Shadow Venusaur, you lose the one shields. Um, against the regular Venusaur, I figured I... I as far as I remember, I just win this matchup. Um, depends how bulky your Bastion is. And they end up switching into for Alligator. I decided since I'm so close to this move anyways, I'm going to throw this move. I'm going to come in with Wigglytuff. Since I double resist the Shadow Claws, now the only thing we really have to be worried about is the possibility of getting double, um, double Hydro Cannon. The first one's not going to KO, so we're going to take that. And then um, they're going to get to another one here. So I decide to shield. I know I could probably get a shield back with the Icy Wind against the Venusaur. So that's pretty nice. Um, and we do we are able to farm this down before it gets to the third Hydro Cannon. They end up coming with the Zoomerol. And I don't go for the Icy Wind. No reason to really go for this. I'm going to try to get to two moves here anyways. So hopefully the Disarming... Well, 
Disarming Voice is obviously more damage than something like Icy Wind, and I am able to actually get the two Disarming Voices. Now, one thing to note is that the Azu is obviously good against Bastion and um, uh, and Dragonair, and I basically think that I can go for a farm down here if they go for the Sludge Bomb, so I end up going for the Shield here, and while they're at max energy on the Azu, uh, I can at least Body Slam it, get it really low, and then... Um, since they're gonna throw a move here anyways, if I remember right, this is Ice Beam. I did play these battles one hour ago. I think this is the fastest I've ever gone from battles to editing. Um, it is gonna be low enough here for a Stone Edge, probably even a farm down. It's actually pretty close on whether or not I'll get the farm down first or the Stone Edge. If they have Hydro Pump, we just lose. If they don't, we just win. It doesn't matter what their other moves are. Altaria, okay, fantastic lead. This is the only Altaria I saw all night, though, so bask in its glory. <laughs> I actually think they, I mean, I know they go for the Moonblast here, but I think they actually get the attack drop. Um, so not not fun there, but you know what? We're going to get the farm down anyways. They're going to get to another Moonblast. Um, I think they are able to get to another Moonblast, whether or not they get that attack drop so it's kind of whatever in the end the only thing that's really regretful is that i'm not gonna be able to throw a big move into the next thing um it is going to be attack lowered one time to, and I, I am going to throw it just to do a little bit of damage um i also have a ton of farm here i'm probably going to switch into the dragon air even though this is the hard counter i know that bastion can still handle what's left of the lantern and if they do end up going into a hard swap winning uh, matchup uh, Wigglytuff can also handle the Lantern, and I just wanted to see what's in the back, basically. And yeah, now that we know the Bastion is just insanely good against this thing, we're totally good. I think they're going to shield this, but um, I remember this person had a flaw here, and they ended up going for the farm down, and we ended up making it to an Aqua Tail. Now, my Dragonair IVs I know are horrific, because I think this is the o literally the only Dragon, I'm sorry, Shadow Dragonair that I have, so I know it's the only one that I've ever made. I'm pretty sure that's true. 99%. I did make a Shadow Dragonite, and I know that the IVs on that one are insanely good, which is weird <laughs> because it's so it's so squishy that the IVs really didn't matter. So having good IVs on that Mon, not great. All right, we get the farm down here. I mean, they, they left basically, so it was already GG though. We have two shields and we have a Charmer in the back. Another Gligar lead. What do you know? We are in horrificness so you do live if they throw right away an aerial ace you don't have to guess that they're throwing maybe a dig or anything like that so i decide not to shield it i can get a shield back here and if they end up trying to stay in this matchup for way too long i can actually shield and get an, a second shield from them or win the switch honestly winning the switch would be absolutely amazing way better than the shield would be to be to be honest um but i think i remember them shielding here which makes sense. They want to maintain switch. Seems like maybe they have a Nihilate in the back, if I was to guess. Probably going to let the first one go through. I was counting at this time, so I'm going to uh, say whatever I do here was the right thing. And yeah, we end up getting the counter, the, the counter down, the uh, smackdown down. We smack it down. <laughs> and then uh, they come in with for alligator, and I'm going to switch and probably end up shielding this. Oh, they end up not throwing, so nice. They come in with a charge bug. I'm going to basically just take a discharge here. Um, the strongest move left is still hydro cannon, so I'm going to just ignore this damage. Um, technically, disarming voice doesn't KO from here, but I believe they're still one off from the next move. And hopefully one charm is enough to KO them from here, and it is. And that's fantastic for us. I end up getting this charm through. I'm going to let this damage go through because, I mean, they have to have three Hydro Cannons to get through this shield and everything. So I'm fine just letting that move go through. We have Bastion down. We have Smackdown. It's all about fast attack damage with this team, which is why it's so toxic. All right, Lantern lead. Sparks nerfed. That's a fantastic thing for us here in this matchup. Surf still super effective, but you can see here it actually doesn't really do that much. Yeah, it's going to build up over time. Um... They ended up throwing on bad timing the first time, which allowed them to throw on really good timing the second one. Um, but we're still not even at the top of energy, so they ended up coming in with Vigoroth. I actually really wish I had threw one of those. Um, the Vigoroth, Vigoroth versus Wigglytuff matchup is not fantastic. Um, they do throw on bad timing here, probably because the switch in, they didn't notice the one-turn lag or anything like that. Um, not able to get to this move. 
Oh, man, I think I remember this game. I play it terribly. Um, Because I try to go for two here, and it's bad timing on our part, but I thought that they were still one away after the two. So it's whatever. We get a little bit of a lead here on... Um, on Dragonair and ends up being Pelipper in the back. So, yeah, I messed this up. Um, but everything's really good against my Bastion. So, I did save that move instead of throwing it at the Vigoroth, which now has come in handy to basically take the shield. And I think I'm going to shield it, but I think that after they throw this, they're not going to have a lot of energy on this. And if they use the energy on the Lantern against this Bastion, they're also not really going to have energy on Lantern either. Um, also, we have a decent amount of HP on Dragonair. They are farming up a lot, so they're playing it well, but they have a shield left, but not enough HP on these Mon to really survive the Shadow Dragon Breath damage. And yeah, we're going to take a serve here, but we resist it. It's not a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt would actually really be threatening us here with the wing attacks coming through, but they're not going to be able to get to a move here on the Pelipper either, so that's going to be GG. Shadow Skarmory into a Shadow Swampert. We switch instantly into the Shadow Dragonair. They're going for the Earthquake, which is fine by me. It means I'm going to throw this. I should be throwing the Body Slam. Um, that, that's a mistake there. If they decided not to shield that, they might have actually lived. Body Slam does do more damage, um, even though, and they get to the moves at the exact same time. So if you're going to be going for a neutral damage move, if both moves are neutral, rather, you should go for the Body Slam. Um, all right, Claude Sire in the lead is absolutely horrific for us. They end up coming with a Lickitung, also not great. Uh, both of our Mon in the back are way better against Lickitung than this Dragonair. But I noticed that they end up throwing at a weird timing here. And I'm like, I bet they don't know the actual timing that we're at on our moves. Um, they stayed in that Claude Sire matchup for a very long time. I really would like this Dragonair for the Claude Sire. Um, I think I end up making a mistake here if I remember right. Oh, no, wait. So far, we're doing great. And then here's where I think I end up trying to shield or something. Maybe I don't. I could come in with a Bastion on here and just farm this down. Or I could come in Wigglytuff, try to get energy. Yeah, coming in with Bastion on makes sense. If they come in... Oh, my God. They have another answer to Bastion on. This is so terrible for us. What I think I have to do is stay in with the Bastion, take a uh, take a hit from the Feraligator, and then I can switch into... It's close, though. Oops, got to turn off my messages. I think I'm going to let this go, and then we're all in on Wigglytuff. Yeah, take the two hits here, survive. They do switch fast. I have to shield this first move. I really have to hope it's an Earthquake. It's my only chance and um it does end up being an earthquake and then they throw right away because they don't want to take the they don't want to be debuffed for this next throw so this is going to be a stone edge um if they had sludge bomb they would have thrown it already right so this is going to be super effective which is nice um we can't catch or anything does the next earthquake ko Oh, I remember this game. I mess up so terribly here. So I really should be switching into the Bastion as soon as possible. I should switch right now, but I'm like, oh, maybe I can get a Charm Force of Damage because we double resist the Shadow Claw. We could have won this game. Sad times. But look how low this is. This team, like, triple countered Bastion. Not really triple, though. Look at how bad against Bastion, but that's a tough game. Uh, I think I played really well, but Claude Sire Elite is insane for this team, so... All right, um, technically we can handle one of these, but I figure they're not going to bait the first one, so I might as well, if I'm going to shield, if I'm going to go to the ones anyways, um, I might as well get the shield on the right move and hope that they don't, well, they don't two-shot us, so at least I don't think they, well, maybe they do actually. But uh, yeah, we're doing a lot of damage to this thing. This thing obviously hard counters our whole team. Alone in Sand Slash is very good against this team. Don't, but the fast attacks... I was about to say, don't get it twisted, but the fast attacks do add up. I mean, look how much this Bastion has done. And now I decide I have to come in Wigglytuff because if I come in with Dragonair, they're going to get an Ice Punch off. And um, yeah, that would be obviously super effective. We would have to shield, whereas I don't have to shield right now. I still have this Dragonair for later. Probably Dragonair is what I'm going to be all in on. Um, they end up coming in with a Polyrath. Uh, and I decide since... I'm already kind of in a weird situation. I'm going to go for this attack drop, possibly. 
And then I do something weird. I th- assume, I don't know why I thought it was a nine leap in the back, so I must switch now. I figured I had enough health here on the Wigglytuff to, to, to allow that switch. But um, I have to throw this immediately because they're almost at two Icy Winds. And I have to shield the Icy Wind because it's super effective. And then they end up having Mandibuzz in the back. And I'm like, okay, well, then I have done the right thing because I still have Wigglytuff who's outside of Air Slash range. I'm sorry, Aerial Ace range. And um, this Dragoner is actually going to do a lot of damage. I end up CMP tying on this uh, Dark Pulse. They're at eight Snarls, so they're just past the Dark Pulse. Um, if switches up, I want to switch right away. I think this Dark Pulse might KO me, though. Um, but we actually live with 1 HP, which means that if I don't die to this Aerial Ace and I die to the next Snarl, I'll still get another Charm through, and I'll probably be able to Fast Attack down before it gets to another move. But we end up end up fasting. T- we end up Fast Attacking down with the Wigglytuff anyways, which is fantastic. Um, Snarl obviously resisted and a very low damage move, considering it's a high energy move. Usually those two things don't go together. Um, that would be broken, right? Probably like Incinerate is broken. But if Incinerate, imagine Incinerate was two moves, but the same, the same percentage of energy and damage, that would be broken. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like this video and you like toxic teams, you could go ahead and try this team out anyways, even if you don't like uh, me showcasing it, I guess. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, if you uh, want to subscribe to the channel, we're always putting out videos every day here, so hopefully you'll find the team that fits you best. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.